Okay, the second skill set, if you will, or knowledge base that I've learned through my career that they didn't specifically teach me in, um, in school, but I want you guys to have, again, to be exposed to this so you will understand it and see it um, as you go through life. Uh, it is Performa Budgeting. Now, Performa Budgets tells you if you meet your goals. See previous video on this. It allows you to answer the question, was the, the event a success? All right. So the elements of a good Performa, let me go back to that. Was the element, uh, event a success? How many of you guys have done an event, whether it's for your own social organizations, fraternal organizations, sororities, clubs, what have you? And somebody asks, well, was it a success? And you say, yeah, everybody had a great time. Okay, well, was your goal for everybody to have a great time or was your goal to get some signups? Okay, everybody can have a great time, but if you didn't achieve any signups or revenue generation or something else, that was the reason for you to throw the event, um, was it really a success? And for you to manage these events and manage the you know conferences, meetings, what have you, you need to understand where your starting point is, which is the purpose of goals, okay? And then you come back and you measure these, usually through some level of performa. They can be as simple as written on the back of an envelope, or they can be a little bit more complex, as I'm gonna show you here in a second. But was the event a success? I used to do this to my employees. I'd ask them, did you do uh, what you did? Was it a success? And I'd get anywhere from, yeah, it was a su success. We thought it went smooth. What does smooth mean? Is what I'd put push it back to them. Forcing people to understand um, and, and it, and try to put it in terms of measurable components, okay? And setting those goals. So we put this, all of this in the framework of a, of a performer. All right, goals, uh, excuse me, the elements of a good performer. Obviously you wanna have your goals stated in a performer. You want a description of the event, details of expenses, details of revenue, variances, and reference notes. Now, a performer is a spreadsheet for uh, lack of a better term and um, it is also a word document usually or some narrative that's associated with the, um, the actual budget itself. So uh, the elements should, like I'm stating here, the elements of a good performa include goals, descriptions of the event, expenses, revenues, variances where you are off between your uh, expected and your actual and reference notes. So what you want is at the end of the year, or if you do that event again, you can look at those notes and look at that file and find out not only what the accurate expenses were, but where you could have changed it, where the revenue could have changed, and where you were off on your variance. Okay, so let me show you some. Okay, this is an, um, a template, and I can share this with you if you would like. Uh, this is an event or conference performa template. Uh, here I have the event title, the dates of that, the location of it, projected number of attendees at this, and what my goals are, stated goals here, okay? So we start off with a um, the categories. I always like to put revenue first. Let's say ticket sales, sponsor money, um, catering, um, revenue, how much did we get at the cash bar, and did we sell any merchandise? So I'm gonna be filling out the projected numbers here. Um, then I'll come back in a post evaluation uh, and write down the actual, and then there will be a variance column here. So I'm gonna see how far off I was on what I wanted to do versus what I actually did, okay? Um, right here, this projected ROI is based on the projected um, expenses, uh, revenue minus expenses. So that comes in here. So I've got this in my template. I've got location, equipment. You can see all of these expenses that are lined up here. Um, and I, these are just categories or, or different line items that I've I put in. And uh, food and beverage, obviously. <clears throat> 
any speakers or performers or things like that for concerts. I would do all of these, um, you know, fill, fill these out for the concerts. How much is the back line? How much is the act itself? Um, you know, any kind of marketing that we have. Additional entertainment, here we go. Gaming rewards, additional photographer, videographer. Um, <laughs> we didn't have to fly anybody in. Did I have to pay them a per diem? A lot of times with concerts especially, you have that. Um, what was the transportation? Very detailed, in other words. So, and you go through all this. Again, if you guys want this for your own work, you know, feel free to holler at me and you know, we can go through it. Uh, any PR, marketing, obviously social media, advertising, sponsors, all these are the um, expenses, okay? So, <clears throat> again, this is just a template, but that number would come up here on the projected. Your total revenue would be here, and this would be your automatic, um, your projected. Now, like I said, after you come in and you do a detailed, um, you fill in these categories for the actuals on all of these, the expenses and revenues, and you tell what you did. So you, this is the big number that you're looking for. And then you can answer did you achieve your goals, at least on your revenue here, and any other notes that you may have on whether you achieved, uh, achieved those goals or achieved whatever that tactic, event, and, or conference, or meeting, or what have you. Um, did it achieve what it was supposed to? All right, so there's that one. Let me show you another one. Um, this is for the fictitious Hanging Judge Saloon in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Um, this is much more of a uh, financial budget. So here's here's what I took. I did a uh, classes begin Thanksgiving break, finals week classes begin Mardi Gras, blah blah blah, all around here. Um, I did not put in my uh, my total goal here of revenue because this is a pre uh, pre being built, so a pre operations performa. This is what I expected to perform like, and I, it's it's a it's a budget for the first um, first 52 weeks. Here you can see each month how many weeks are in each month. Um, first 12 months, 52. Here's my sales by um, product category and then we go into the cost of goods right here filled out uh, my total cost of goods I had it at 28 percent which is a little low um, but we're doing a whole lot of beer which is uh, uh, which makes sense for that to be then expense uh, utilities connectivity rent including common area maintenance that's 2150 a foot uh, your insurance all of these things here okay so <clears throat> it scoots down here and then I give uh, a total budget total revenue total expense net revenue did not fill all these out uh, revenue per square foot this is a key metric that uh, um, I pay attention to expense per square foot in my EBITDA um, and then I'll if I wanted to here's an expense per FTE, FTE full-time equivalency, or expense per employee is another way to put it. Um, and then we have how many is our head count, and I, if I'm averaging $19 per person that I am painlessly extracting out of my guest's pocket and having them throw at me in exchange for a really good time at the Hanging Judge Saloon in Fayetteville, Arkansas. So um, this gives you an idea of uh, how I would put together a pro forma for a bar. And this is for an annual piece. I would have another um, document or another spreadsheet that would give me the actual numbers here and uh, see how far off I was, for example. See where I can manage a little bit differently and uh, make some adjustments in expenses and, and uh, revenue. And you can see, I did not exactly put in a ton of um, 
of the expenses. There's a whole lot more that go into this marketing expenses, for example, um, build out, um, you know, if I've got to build out the uh, facility, there's that capital expense. So all of those um, items would need to be added in there. But anyhow, this is an example of a uh, profit and loss pro forma budget for the first 12 months which with a September 1 opening. By the way, extra points if you guys can tell me any bar that is for sale in Fayetteville, um, would love to try to open one there. So anyhow, back to me. Here's an example. These are two things, the, uh, the goal setting and the budgeting, pro forma budgets that I wanted to give you at least a little taste of before you got out of my class. And um, I'll tell you how I use this. I would, in the casino business and the restaurant business, if they wanted to do, you know, I don't care what act, they wanted to bring in a concert, they wanted to do a car show, a, you know, hot air balloon, a slot tournament, what have you, um, I would have them fill these out prior to the physical quarter that we were getting ready to go into for their planning. And if it did not hit a certain return on investment, which I had stated as our goal, um, it would get declined. They'd have to go back and do what we call penciling out, which is sharpening your pencil and trying to figure out where you can get a better movement on the revenues and expenses. Now, there's a caveat to that. There's always a caveat to these things. If your goal is simply to generate awareness, then this may all be, you know, expenses. There may be zero revenue associated with these things. So I would go back and say, well, what is your goal? If your goal is to generate a certain awareness or uh, generate a certain amount of traffic, not necessarily revenue, then okay, is that in the grand scheme of things, and this is where I would look at it, in the grand scheme of things, does this fit within the total budget and where we want to go as a company? All right, I hope that makes sense. But the long and short of this is, if you put the numbers to it, you can manage it a heck of a lot easier um, as opposed to just going through the motions and, and creating a whole lot of uh, activity. So uh, hopefully you got something out of that. I really wish we were you know, face to face so we can discuss this and I can give you some, uh, some more examples. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm here. If you want uh, me to dive into this more, if you're interested in this kind of um, uh, this topic, uh, I'm here. You know how to reach me. So I hope everybody has a, uh, a good week and I hope you got something out of this. Thanks.